Secure the perimeter. All units prepare for Sector 17 security sweep. Non-compliers will be considered hostile. Fire on runners. Let's pack up. They've got the area surrounded. We can air. We gotta go. Let's just go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Grab your stuff. One at a time. One at a time. A little while longer, and the wicked one will be no more. Look around. The kings have taken out all the others. We won't survive on our own. It's time to join the One World's government. If they take you, they'll brand you, brainwash you. You won't think for yourself. Let's go! It's the Alliance, come on, let's go! Alpha team, check the rooftop! Bravo, hit the alley! Three level structure, check all the floors! Four man fire team, prepare to deploy. <laughs> Nobody run! <laughs> Take them! If you run, you will be shot! Ah. Move it out! Move down the stairs! Take him. The only thing this symbolizes is your primitive thinking. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating. Oh, your knees! <laughs> Sir, shouldn't we interrogate her first? Just did. Now back in line, soldier, and kill anyone else you find. You 
there! Get up! Put my legs to the lion. Why did this happen? Why does God let bad things happen? We have breaking news of a bombing on American soil. An explosion went off just moments ago at a military base outside of Chicago. We're told the blast came from a single explosive on the first floor of the mess hall, and part of the building has now collapsed. It seems that the impact was through the roof, but at this time, we firmly believe it came from the top. Was this an accident? Absolutely not. It's too soon to know the number of dead or injured, but officials fear at least 40 soldiers may have died in this blast. No one has claimed responsibility for the attack, and a motive is not yet known. It's been months, and I feel like I'm still standing there at his grave. I can't leave him. He's gone, and I still can't leave him. I see him in every uniformed soldier I pass, and they're everywhere since the bombing. It seems like our small college town is filled with the remnants of my fiance. I had scheduled for us to actually learn something about American history today, but if this class has taught us anything, it's that a seamless written document constituting the guidelines and expectations of a group apparently means less and less as time goes on. <laughs> but I'm sure this young man, uh, your name again? Lee Richardson of the Associated Student Body. Thank you. Uh, please click the link on the main page of your servers. You should see an image of a small pill-like microchip and an article entitled RFID. Now I want to introduce you to a new form of student identification. Now that little chip is inserted just under the skin. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. No, but when you get it, you can buy without any exchange of money, right? Or uh, fear of identity theft. Imagine that. It can tell you your BMI, calorie intake, stress level. I, I, it, it can even tell you the amount of sleep that you got last night, if any. <laughs> Most importantly for you, ready? Ready? Campus food, 20% off. And 20% off book purchases, which is Wait. huge. What are you Sorry. pitching? Is this really with the ASB? No, sir, this is with the administrative office and ultimately the federal government. I mean, this is the new true identity mandate is what they are calling. Mandate? Yes, sir. This is required of my students? Oh, no, not just students, sir. Uh, staff, in fact, faculty, I mean, the whole university. And okay. it's actually, it's no, valued no, 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 at $400. No, no. I'm sorry what the university is going to do hey! for you today. Shut up and get out of my Sir, class. this is a mandate from the government. It's I not... don't care what it is. Okay, excuse me. But in light of the recent attacks on our town, the government has mandated the use of these chips at our university. So you can go ahead and, and kick me out of your classroom, okay? But the use of this chip is required. And noncompliance has serious consequences. Get out.
Okay. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for your time, Professor. Thanks. That kid is a fiend. Do not get that chip. Do not give yourselves over to that. Uh, professor, it says here that the chip could trace the purchases of excessive weaponry and potential explosive materials, stopping terrorist attacks before they start. I mean, I'd be willing to get something in my hand if it meant stopping those explosions from happening. Not if those explosions were planned. By who? God? No, Roxy. Not God. All right. Everyone, pull out your tablets and laptops and turn to page 39 of the text. What did you mean? I want to know what you mean it was planned. Roxy. What did you I... mean? I... I didn't mean it was spiritual, if that's what you're asking. Then what? Who's behind this? I don't know. You said it was planned. Of course somebody had to plan it. Somebody always has to plan these that's things. That's not what you meant. Tell me what you know. I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you, and I know you're looking for answers. I... Just looking for the truth. I don't know the truth. Just don't get that stupid chip, okay? Roxy. You forgot your diary. Yes. You wouldn't want to leave this behind. I'm sure you'll find everything you're looking for at the end of this. What's that? It's a dog tag. Soldiers warm until we get the chips. Here's a this. Yeah, these books are just a disease plaguing our new society. They are? Excuse me? They are. Cheer up, old man. Free food for everyone. Welcome, new recruits. We who have survived are the predetermined few to carry on the human race. You have been born anew under the alliance of the new earth. No more dissension in our governments. No more constantly feuding religions. A one world government with one goal. To unify the world together in peace and security. A Perfect Earth, brought to you by Zen Global. What are the stats on the incursion today? Sir, Sector 17 Restricted Zone, cleared. And the result? Assimilation of 13 new members, execution of 11 non-compliers, 
Six prisoners in quarantine, combustion of paraphernalia. You need to reach 20 new members by the end of the week, Captain. You know how important it is to Zern to reach our numbers. Affirmative, sir. Well, I think you need some help. 408. Yes, sir. Promoting you to Webb's equal. I think the two of you can work better as a team. Sir, I promise you we are well- 266, you are dismissed. You know, our mission is close at hand. We're near perfection and reaching our goal of a unified society than ever before. And yet there are secret groups banding together, creating distress. These religious zealots are posing a great threat. The leader among them has proven to be quite cunning. Well, 408, you need to weed these rats out. Cern is counting on you. He's asking you to follow his uncompromising example and lead the way to beat this uprising. I'm honored, sir. Good. We received report of a traitor in our midst. Right in our own camp. It needs to be dealt with accordingly. Who, sir? Three, two, seven? You in here? Wait here. I knew they'd send you. So diligent for the Alliance. What would you say if everything that you knew was a lie? We persecute innocent people, Shaw. Why don't we ever talk about that? They're not innocent. You ever dare to read it? Are you insane? They have no rest day and night those who worship the beast and its image and who bear the mark of his name. You have to come with me. I was once blind, but now I see. How can you be so blind to it, Sean? I don't know what happened to you, Phoenix. But I know my orders. I'm not going with you. I reject the Alliance. Then I am sorry. No, you're not. You don't know of mercy. Believe rather in the power of man, but we are flawed to the core. I mean, can't you see, Shaw? We will never be able to rule for ourselves. No matter how much order this new system initiates, it will always be flawed. Religion only breeds war. We are already at war. When is it going to stop? Who have you been talking Nobody. to? Nobody. I just know how to read. To read this book that you burn, and the words speak to you, Shaw. I'm sure they do. More than that, even. Those words killed my family. Those words started the war. We started the war. The word will end it. You're wrong. If we remove religion, we remove war. Diligent is the calf. Our power is in our discipline, which you have forsaken. I'd rather believe in a perfect God.
236 calories for this thing. I swear, the saturated fat is literally the first ingredient. I mean, I can even eat this meal twice a day without breaking 2,000 cows, and you know that they say it's more like 2,500 if you're under 21. Do you know Professor Diedrich? Mm. I heard that he kicked that chip kid out of his class today. Are you there? He said I shouldn't get the chip. He said the bombings were planned. What do you think that means? I don't know, I think that he thinks it was probably a false flag used by NGOs in conjunction with the feds to initiate an NWO agenda that could just the Constitution eliminate our personal rights and um, enslave us to an unstoppable empirical force. Hmm? What? No, it's martial law. But I wouldn't be worried because we're all going to be raptured before anything serious happens anyway, so it's no biggie. Are you going to eat that? Yeah, you can have it. Oh, reason. What's wrong? <sighs> Joining us, we want to bring you up to date on a deadly explosion that went off inside a shopping mall outside of Miami, Florida last night. It happened around 7 p.m. Eastern time. More than 20 bodies have so far been pulled from the rubble. The explosion caused an entire section of the mall to fall on top of itself. Officials suspect the blast is related to the recent attack in Chicago which many now believe may have been religiously motivated. Ever dare to read it? What are you doing? Um, reviewing this document for the archives. And what is your consensus? If our insignia wasn't in it, then it would just be another book that we burn. Resistance members barred up in Sector 23. The old world did not do so well on its own. Just take a look around you. Look at the state that we're in. These books of the old world have no use to us. Shall we repeat history? What caused the world war? Religion was the reason for the world ending. But the new world will not be garnered by the dogmas of the old. Our orders are to burn all the books and gather up supplies. If you come across any refugees, you will bring them forward. Survivors of the war, in accordance with New World Code 45237, we've come to recruit you. Be part of the New World Alliance. All units, spread out and search the area. All right, girls. Move out!
Playing with dolls again? Might have to report this. Your team's been lagging, Captain. In what regard? Hiding refugees behind the bookcase. Don't want to pick up all your slack. Team! Up! Everybody on your feet! Get up! Get up! If you choose to live like animals, then we'll corral you like animals. All right, please give me your attention for a moment. We'll be heading out soon, but first, we have some business. Heading out? Who are you? Why well, is Professor Diedrich? My name is Professor Holloway. I really haven't been told too much about your old professor, but I'm his replacement for the time. Please take a seat, miss. Where are we going? We're going to the commons to have our RFID chips injected. Sit down. Just that last line right there, and head to one of the open stations to get your chip. Just so crazy. It's like I was there at that exact mall while vacationing in Miami over the summer, and it's just like, I mean, it was a piece of crap, but like I could have been in front of the same exact store where the bomb went off. Professor said Diedrich's missing. What do you mean he's missing? Like, where is he? Well, if I knew that, he wouldn't exactly be missing, would he? All right, and I'll go no, take but you I mean, back there's someone you can ask, like, hi. Just the uh, first and last line there. Be all good. Oh, hey. Hi, I, I remember you. You were uh, in that class where that crazy professor kicked me out. But you were yeah. there? Yeah. You didn't tell me you were there. Yeah, no, so, uh, great, yeah. I'm glad you're getting the chip. The university's really going to be a... Uh, Safer with it, so. So, what's your role in this? Oh, this whole yeah, no, no. Uh, funny you ask. I'm actually a student advocate for for Zern Global, so. And Zern Global is. Daphne, Thelma, do you want to hurry it up? Yeah, yeah, buddy. Chill. If you could just give us one second, thank you. Wow. I know. Uh, sorry, it's the private sector that creates the RFID chip, so it's. Yeah, actually. Oh, you know what? Um, Mr. Zern himself is speaking tonight. You know what, you, you should definitely come. He's, you know, he'll tell you all about how to join in the profits of the chip. It'll be fun, interesting. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do here. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Uh, there you go, call me, yeah, if you're interested. Yeah, sure. Uh, Roxanne. Uh, Roxy. Roxy, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, there's actually uh, an open station at the end of this one there. It's Roxy. <laughs> you can follow me. Okay. Excuse me. I'm ready for you, sweetie. You can take a seat. This will only take a minute. I'm gonna need your hand. Honey, I have a lot of these to do today. door.
It's the brand, gentlemen. This is the legacy handed down to us by Zern. The father of our generation! Could they free themselves? By joining us? Couldn't they? Do they have the power to unbind their chains? Yes, by embracing the power of the calf in our unified society. But they choose to be a pestilence. The calf is our symbol. Each man will wear it with pride. Survival of the fittest. You have survived to the end for a reason. his own will. Can a man lift up a calf? Yes, sir. By his own will. Can a man build a city? Yes, sir. By his own will. Can a man rule the world? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Deity has always belonged to the human race. We are our own gods. And if we unlock our own minds, greatness is within us. Let nothing hinder our progress. Shaw, come in. You wanted to see me? Yes, sir, I did. Sit down. I'm, I'm good, sir. The refugees that we executed today, couldn't they have been trained? Those types of people are not trainable, Shaw. You know that. Two six six is questioning the refugee woman. If he doesn't furnish results, I want you to take care of it. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Soldier. Don't ever ask me that question again. Yes, sir. What's the status? A refugee in detainment for a possession of unauthorized paraphernalia. Thanks. Tell me <laughs> what I need to know! <laughs> She's being difficult. Get off me, Shaw! We! We Richardson! What? She gave me the name. Lee Richardson. Who's that? Hey, it could be the leader. Could be their leader, huh? You interrogated her earlier? Yeah. Then finish her off.
Roxy. Hey. hey. Can I come in? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Come on. I can take that if you want. Sorry for the mess. My roommate's a hockey player and he's, uh, do you want to sit down? Sure. So, what's up? I think I'm being followed. By who? Cern Global. Cern Global? The chip guys? Yeah, I, uh, didn't get mine today. Roxy, you have to get the chip. Do you know Professor Diedrich? Yeah. Why didn't you get the chip? Do you know where he lives? Yeah, yeah. Um, Diedrich, he lives in that old house off of Logan and Paris Street. He has those study groups every month. Why? Well, he told me not to get the chip, and now he's missing. Well, Diedrich's always been a bit of a conspiracy theorist. Anti-government. Well, so am I. Okay, except scripture says we are to obey our authority, so you should I get the chip. I didn't come here for a sermon, Brian. Just came here for a bit of help. You haven't talked to me in over a year. You show up at my door and what? You have no one else to go to? Roxy. Roxy. My name is Agent Harris. I'm with the state. I need to speak to the resident or residents of this apartment. It's not a request. Yes, what can I do? We're, uh, we're just studying the finals. Who's we? Me and my roommate. The invisible roommate? Target is in the vicinity of the house. Scanning in progress. They're doing this without consent. And here's what's crazy. People want it. This is from the Times. It's about food stamps being switched onto the RFID. But here's the catch. If for any reason they decide to turn off your chip, you can't eat. 
You can't drive. You can't sleep. We have her located on the west side of the house. The National Defense Authorization Act allows them to arrest and detain you for this. And this is the whole point. Live off the government. Or die. Target is on the back porch. With Diedrich missing and Zone Global pursuing me, I need to uncover the truth. Lee Richardson is the key to finding out more. Okay, Lee Richardson. Six results, five with the Alliance. One, a Leonard G. Richardson is being held at Rainford Prison. Rainford Prison wasn't responding to any of our calls or text messages. Chances are their towers were taken out in the storm. We should be arriving at Rainford any minute now. When we get there, we'll pick up Mr. Richardson and head home. 408. What was that? The... Uh, it's, um... Sniper! All units, all units fall back. We are under attack. Sniper at one o'clock. Alpha team, get ready to engage. Get back, get back, get back. This is the Alliance. Do not shoot. I repeat, this is the Alliance. Do not shoot. 616, we're going to the fence. You ready? Ready. On my mark. Go. Outside the gate, but we ain't got a grip on them out there. How many? One truck, seven soldiers at most. Let's give them a warm welcome. to the fence. He's gonna shoot at you. Jimmy, cover. Go on my mark. What the heck, Weber? Are you kidding me? No. Oh, gee. Drew, if you don't go, I'll shoot you myself. Now go. Go! Fine. Squadron advance. Good work, Drew. Leonard Richardson. In the Alliance. Affirmative. Get up, you're coming with me. All right.
right, we're headed to C-44, Leonard Richardson. Get up, you come with me. I know you think what you're doing is right, but it's not. And now you can't escape. The rebels are ruthless, they will kill you. Shut up, come on! Come on with me. Look, you know, son, if you knew what I need, you wouldn't be wearing that uniform. I need answers. I miss you coming every day in prison, Christian. I can't help you. Shut up. Ah. Stop this fight. I'm going with you. Wait! Stop! Stop! I'm here! I'm here! I'm Leonard Richardson! Stay there! Do not move! He's unarmed! What are you doing, Lee? What I need to. I'm surrendering. Leonard! You're the man. Seek peace, brothers. Follow Christ. I left my Bible and myself for you. Um, this is Roxy. I met you at school today. Roxy, yeah. You, you got the chip today, of course. <laughs> yeah. Is this is this your number? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, did you want to go to that meeting today? Yeah, absolutely. It, it sounds really interesting. And um, you said Zern himself is going to be there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Zern. He's a billionaire entrepreneur, and he'll be telling you all about business secrets, you know, that you, you really just you wouldn't hear anywhere else. It's going to be amazing. Definitely, you, sh you should come. Great. It sounds great. So where is it? It's, actually, it's in Grand Rapids. Um, I'm headed there in like 15 minutes. Do you want me to... I could pick you up. Um... Sure. Oh, <laughs> you snuck up on me there. Hi, I was just calling you. Actually. Oh, yeah, no, I left my phone at home. Oh, why didn't I just pick you up at your house then? I could have picked you up. Nice car. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is, this is my baby. Tons of aftermarket work done on it, you know, but you'd be surprised how much difference a little suit can make. So, I mean, yeah, absolutely. this thing yeah. really takes oh, off. Wow. Huh? Mm -hmm. you know that? <laughs> All right. Ready? Let's go see the man. Absolutely. Pumped. So, uh, where's your husband? <laughs> Just, like, are, are, you, are you married? Or is that an engagement ring I'm seeing? Oh, like... no, no, it's, um, no? Uh, nothing. Oh, nothing? No, it can't be nothing. It looks like a pretty expensive gift from someone. I don't know. I mean, I looked in your diary. I don't know if it was your husband, your brother. No, or, like, really, it's, no? it's okay. nothing. Um, good, good. No, I'm, uh, I'm single. Oh. Well, um, <laughs> me too. Thank you very much. Gotta get in there. Thanks. Thank you. What's... Hold on. Okay. Do you have a chip? Yes, she has a chip. She, you got one today, correct? 
the the nurse ran out oh. uh, right before I, I had a chance okay. to go out. Um, no, okay, I, not a problem. I got it. She's new and now, and I'm with Zern, so we gotta go. Thank you. This is it. <laughs> I know, right? Really is impressive. Yes, we're, uh, oh, hey. How you doing? Good to see you. We're right in front. I took the liberty of reserving us some seats, so right here. And you have the third one in there reserved for you. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I, at this point, I'd actually love to introduce you to some, some uh, successful people that are scattered around here tonight, but I gotta go. I'm on. But I'll be right back, so. All right? Enjoy. This could be a big mistake. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sure you all are ready to see the man come out. But first, I would like to thank each and every advocate here. The Northeast branch is growing tremendously. And I could see us pass gold by April. How about you? Now, I want to introduce to you the man who has revolutionized safety, marketing, communication, business in general. He is the man responsible for our improved present and our limitless future. His reach will soon extend globally, but the sky is the limit. So ladies and gentlemen, please, without further ado, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you the man we've all been waiting for, the man himself, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Zern. All right, all right, thank you. Kavanaugh. Yes, sir. Do me a favor, get rid of this. <laughs> thank you, Kavanaugh. I have to say, my heart, oh, my heart breaks for those who lost their lives here in Chicago only a short time ago. These horrible attacks will only drive Zern Global on to ensure two things worldwide, peace and security. How will we achieve these things? I'll tell you how. As many of you know, I grew up on a ranch. You might find that hard to believe because I'm wearing this fancy suit. <laughs> but I remember it. I remember it well. We had many animals on our ranch. And one day this baby calf was born, a little black and white Holstein calf. I fell in love with her. She was so beautiful. I picked her up and never put her down. That little calf's hooves never touched the ground. Well, my father came up to me one day and he said, you know that calf you won't put down? If you were to pick this calf up every day of its life and never miss a day, even when it's full grown, you will still be able to pick that calf up. Huh? <laughs> I was skeptical. I looked at the calf's mom. Now that heifer had to weigh 550 pounds, but my father reassured me, he said, the calf will grow just a little bit every day, but not so much that you can't pick it up the next day. And if you pick it up every day and you never miss a day, you will be able to do it. Okay, I said, good deal. So day one, I went down to the barn, I picked up that calf. Day two, went down to the barn, picked up that calf. Day three, same thing. Day four, same thing. And that went on for a while. But then one day it rained. Not so bad one day. But then my best friend, Erwin, had a slumber party, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I missed three days. And then, of course, there was camp. Missed two weeks. The point is, I wasn't consistent. And I found myself at the barn one day, and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't pick up that calf. I will never forget that. So my father walked in, he stood there and smiled, and he said, you see, you can't miss a day. If you want to achieve, to do the impossible, you can't miss a day. Students, Zern Global is in relentless pursuit of perfection. 
I tell you truly, there is nothing we cannot achieve with our minds. It just takes discipline. We have unlimited power resting within us. All we have to do is unlock it, and I can show you how. Hey, hey. Good stuff, right? Uh, come on, I, I want you to meet him. Come on, come on, come on. I should have known I'd find you with one of your boys. Where's Diedrich? Oh, he's right here. Blah, 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 blah. He was such a whistle-blowing loudmouth. What did you do to him? The same thing we're going to do to you. Stop! Please! Wait, wait, wait. Stop! We're just going to keep track of you, that's all. So you don't bomb a strip mall or anything like that. You did it. You planted the bombs. Oh, planted bombs? We, we never get our hands that. One thing you need to know, Roxanne, is that no matter how deep you dig, And if you try, we'll just decommission that chip. You planted the bombs! You stay in here, Orville? Well, none of this is going to matter much tomorrow anyway. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Give me a drink. The definition of a false flag operation is a covert operation designed to deceive the public in such a way that the operation appears as though it's being carried out by other entities. This is incredible, truly shocking. We haven't seen this kind of evil, this kind of senseless violence committed against Americans since perhaps 9-11. Our hearts and prayers go out to the victims and their families. We will, of course, be bringing you the very latest on what appears to be another terrorist attack on American soil as more information comes to light. This false flag has killed over 65 American citizens and soldiers, including my fiance, Jeremy Shaw Summers of the US Air Force. Sir. What is that? What do you want? The commander requests your assistance with the captain. I've run him through. He's not giving up the location of the secret base. He's not renouncing his god. He's no more use to us. It's because you're nothing more than a barbarian. You lack any sort of pre-thought to develop a plan. Sir. Let me interrogate the captive. You think you can get answers from him? I'll get answers one way or another. Then give me answers. All right, boys. Enough. Who did this to him? We both did. Good work. We're looking for something specific. Radio transmitter, food and water supply, a secret Christian base. You look at me, you filthy Christian. Radio transmitter, food and water supply, a main headquarters. Nothing? All right. Cut him loose. I wouldn't do that if I said cut him loose! Cut him loose now! So give me answers. I need answers. Holy Spirit, the bread of life. 
What? Our trade zone is our food supply. Our headquarters are right up there. He's playing games with us. Shoot him. No. Isaiah 96. What? Who is Isaiah 96? 408, where'd you get that information? I know you know. You have to know. Tell me! There's no Isaiah 96. There's an Isaiah 96. Isaiah. We're gonna search on Isaiah 96. Yes, sir. Unto us. A child is born to us, a son is given. Every one shall be a punishment. And his name shall be called Marvelous Counsel of Mighty God. Did you recognize this man? Boy, what is that? Is that illegal paraphernalia? Where does your find? Four away, what the hell are you doing? I'll take that as a yes. I'll get you some! You don't have the chip on me, do you? Good. This is only hurt for one of us. Zone Global seems to be capitalizing on the attacks. With the uncertainty of fear and war on the horizon, no one seems to be noticing something bigger going on. Happened last night. Did you get the chip? Yeah, they gave it to me. Roxy, look, I'm sorry. All right. Tell me what happened. They let me go. Carried me in, held me down, and then they let me go. Diedrich! Are you okay? What did they do to you? You shouldn't be here, Roxy. You need to find a way off this campus. But I found your clue. I watched the video. Zern Global, they're behind everything. They planted the bombs. You watched the video? Zern Global is a, a puppet. The, the federal government is a puppet. The, This is too big for you. They planned the attack. They're planning more. They'll do whatever it takes to put fear in the hearts and minds of the people. Why? Why are they doing this? They want to arrest us, to kill us? Then why did they let us go? <laughs> Damn it. All right, they're inside. Get ready. Right. Did you recognize the man in the photo? May I see it again? Yeah. We ran a warehouse about 12 miles from here. It was full of propaganda, Bibles. Uh, I found that, your name's in it, and that's how we found you. Yeah, yes, it is. It's, wow, this, I, unfortunately, I don't know this man, but I, uh, I knew the, the girl who owned this. What about the code names by the circles, like the one that's five three? Who's that? These are these are Bible references. This, that's First Thessalonians five three, and then that's Revelation thirteen six. They're Bible references. One of them, prophecies. What do they say? Although they either have come true or they will come true soon. Well, what about the Isaiah 9-6? It's in the back. This is a good one. This is, uh, this is written 500 years before the crucifixion of Christ. But it describes him perfectly.
Um, hey, was there, uh, any, anyone you found this with? No, she's probably dead. How'd you know her? Attention to all students and faculty. Please remain calm, stay in your classroom, and await your arrival. Attention to all students and faculty. That logo on the trucks, that... That logo's the second beast in the Book of Revelation. It forces everyone to worship the first. We have you on the ground floor. There are several closed doors ahead. Proceed. Target's located. Door to your right. Door to your right. Roxy, almost everything in your diary has a prophecy. The scriptures say they will all cry out. There is peace and security. Then sudden destruction will come upon them. And the mark of the beast? Okay, here. The second beast causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, slave and free, to be given a mark on their right hand or their forehead, so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark. Attention students, we have an emergency. Martial law has been declared. You need to evacuate the building now. Leave all your stuff on the table and evacuate the building. This is the mark of the beast? No. It's bigger than this. It's the fact that the people want it. It's ownership. It... It's loyalty. It's worship. Worship of the beast. Who's the beast? Freeze! Don't move! Those two. Hey! No! Hands above your head. Still think we should obey our authorities, Brian? Tell that to these guys. They're the ones rebelling against nearly every constitutional amendment. Take them this way. Yep! as far as I can take you guys. All right, uh, I suggest you find a way to remove those chips. I'm sorry. Good luck, you two. Last I ever saw her, it was a long time ago, years ago. Man, how the hell did, <laughs> excuse me, how in the world, it's okay, did you end up being a Christian? Uh, let's just say the Lee Richardson back then is a lot different from the men you see in front of you today. 
you say Lee Richardson? Easy. I'm tracking you guys for at least the last half mile. Figured you were alliance with the uniform and all. You know him? It's okay. Really is you. Yeah. Be safe here. Oh, who are they? Well, this one's a rebel from the Alliance. You're a Christian, right? No, I'm not. Well, you're coming in anyway. And this one here is Lee Richardson. D. Lee Richardson. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Thanks, Bob. Come in, everyone. Even the Alliance guy. You're clear. Come in. On behalf of the Williams House, I want to welcome our special guest here this evening, Mr. Shaw, who has an incredible story of running from the Alliance. And you should ask him about it. And he's the reason that someone else is here this evening. And so I'd like for all of us to raise a glass or a mug or a paper cup to our dear brother, Leonard Richardson, who has returned to us after years of being separated. The sight of you in this house brings tears to my eyes. Everybody, friends, family, I just wanted to say something. I just, I wanted everyone to know how thankful I am for this young man sitting right there. Mr. Shaw, could you stand up? He took me out of prison and helped me get here, back home. And I don't, I don't know why. Can you tell us? Can, can you tell us why you escaped from the Alliance? <clears throat> I, um... I didn't join the Alliance because I was told that you were the bad guys. And that people like you were responsible for my father's death. I believed if we continued what we were doing, then God could be killed. And that when he was, then I would be free. I came across an old diary from before the war, and, and it told me the truth. It told me that Everything that I'd ever believed or been told was a lie. I don't know why I'm here, and I don't, I don't know why you people treat me the way that you do. If 
you known what I'd done, I'd let happen. You wouldn't have let me in here. You wouldn't forgive me. It's okay. God, God forgives you. And so do we. Well, you've been tagged. How? You're approaching the target. Proceed. You're entering the area of operation now. What? How? When I was in prison? Of course you were. That's so stupid. We have to get out of here. How much time do we have? We have no time. We gotta go now. Hey! Back door. Come on! Back door. Hurry up! Targets are moving. Go, go, go. They're on the move. Come on, Beth, go! No! Go! 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 Come on! Come on! Spread out! Search the woods! No one's getting out of here! Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Get down! Good work, Shaw 408. You successfully led us to the Christian hideout. Normally, Christians make very good servants. And their women make very good prostitutes. But in this case, packing up all these filthy little rebels into a truck is just too taxing. So we're gonna have to slim down the numbers a bit. <laughs> Look at me, Colonel. Hail the calf. Hail the calf! No! You kill me with the rest of these rebels. Because that's what I am. You're a Christian? And there's nothing you can do about it. So be it. It's the rebels! Come on! Take down those! Get down there! Get down there! Follow them! Follow them! You're okay. You're okay. I'm not worried. I'm not. I'm not worried. Oh, no. No. Can you do this for me? Thank you.
For the accusers of our brothers, who accused them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. We shall overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. We did not love our lives so much as to shrink from death. What do we do now? We have to tell her this. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. <laughs>